What was the most unexpected birthday gift someone gave you? A few years ago my siblings and I hosted a 70th birthday party for my dad on my birthday. My birthday is in July, his in February. We had him fooled into thinking the surprise party was for me, and he was shocked when he walked in and realized it was his party. Half the fun was watching him almost spoil the surprise about a half a dozen times. Fast forward to yesterday, I get a package in the mail with a super cozy sweatshirt and note from dad saying, it was a birthday gift for me on his birthday. Included in the note, he stated, I couldn't think of better person I would want to swap birthdays with. I'm not gonna lie, the note was the real gift. A few days before my 30th birthday, my, now ex, wife told me she had a meeting in the city and would be home late, but she actually drove to the airport and picked up my best friend who had secretly flown in from out of state to surprise me. The next day she took us to a spot a few hours away where we sp. I have an old silver watch that an aunt gave me when I was in my teens. I would visit her in the nursing home when I was doing my required service hours for school. She was so sweet, and I always looked forward to seeing her every day. My senior year she passed away, but gave me her watch before she did. I wore that watch every day until finally it stopped working. A couple years after I moved in with my now fiancé I accidentally lost it, and was really upset for a long time because of that. For my birthday last year I told my fiancé that I didn't want him to spend any money on me, so we can save for our wedding. That morning he handed me a small box. Inside was the watch, which he found at the bottom of a box in the basement, and he had cleaned it and fixed it. I still wear that watch every day and that was honestly the best gift I'd ever received. My girlfriend and I started dating freshman year of college and neither of us live in the state we go to school in. Over the summer we went home and did long distance for the three months. My birthday is in the summer, and she kept telling me she was gonna send gifts she got for me, and kept asking questions like when does mail usually get to your house? She also made up this story about how the kids she babysat liked to take her phone and play with it, and that she was taking them to a pool the next day, day before my birthday. Her mom texts me that day while I'm at work telling me that one of the kids dropped her phone in the pool. I felt so bad because I was told that my GF was a wreck about the whole situation. I get home from work and I'm sitting on the couch and my mom comes home and tells me the package that my GF sent me was on the porch, so I opened the front door expecting a big cardboard box, but instead I got a short gorgeous lady who had flown so many miles to spend a week slash my birthday with me. Not birthday, Christmas, but one that was both unexpected and much appreciated. My father's uncle never had any kids of his own, so my father, his brother, and my two brothers and I were the focal point of his life. Every Christmas you could count on him bringing everyone a check for $50, and another gift of some sort, a book, an article of clothing. One time he brought my younger brother a stapler. Well this past year, when it's time for him to hand out gifts, he puts a huge box in my lap and tells me to open up. I would have been fine with the $50, but he, a chef, knowing that I love to cook, decided to spend well beyond his limits and buy me an overly expensive electric pasta maker, and it was hands down the best gift I had received from anyone in a few years. He unexpectedly passed away two weeks ago, no more than two months, after I got that gift. I'll never stop using it, and I'll never forget the significance it has on my life, and the meaning it had on his. My husband and I were trying to have a baby, and not having success. For my 34th birthday my mom sent me a sleep giraffe for my future baby nursery. Turns out it was the last birthday gift I would get from her. She died 10 months after that birthday in 2016. I found out I was pregnant in early 2017, and never got to share that news with her. I remember being annoyed when I opened the box, but now I realize it was just a sweet sentiment from her telling me not to give up. After she passed, going through her things, I found a congratulations card meant for me in the event I had a baby, a card she never got to send. I look at that sleep giraffe every day, it's the first thing I see every morning, when I wake up, and she tells me every morning don't give up. On my 20th birthday, my mom asked me if I could take the day off of school. I said sure. I go to her house, and she tells me to get in her car. She stops for gas, 
so I'm thinking ooh, a road trip, maybe we are going to San Antonio and I'll finally get that Louis Vuitton messenger bag I've been wanting. We get back in the car, and after about 10 minutes, she pulls over and says I need to look at the map. Here, go ahead and read your birthday card while I'm looking at it. The card had typical mom stuff in it, but the very last line was I can't wait to see you smile again. The parking lot we were in was a dentist's office. She took me in for a consultation for a full mouth of veneers. We got the price. We went to the bank to get the money. Stopped for Chinese food. Then went and prepaid the dentist for my veneers. It's been 12 years and my chompers still look the way they did when I first got them. A shark fetus in a jar. A classmate of mine knew a fisherman who'd accidentally caught a shark in his net one day and it died before he could free it. So he took the shark to a vet because she looked pregnant and the vet cut her open and pulled out five or so fully formed babies. The vet kept three, the fisherman kept one and my friend took the last one and gave it to me as a birthday gift a week later because she knew I collected taxidermy stuff. The shark is the first and so far only wet specimen of the collection. It's a small spotted kachuk by the way, so nothing dangerous. It's actually kinda cute. When I was a kid, I had the The Indian in the Cupboard on VHS and was really into it. It's a movie about a kid who gets an old cupboard for his birthday. It's pretty beat up and doesn't even have a key. At first this seems like the lamest gift ever, but he searches for the missing key anyway and eventually finds it. He discovers it can bring any toy figure to life and then has to deal with the implications of that. Some real good nuggets of wisdom about life and death in this movie. Anyway, my dad has a workshop in the basement of the house. He finds me an old chest and installs a lock mechanism inside, drilling a keyhole in the top. He filled it with candy and a buttload of change, probably like $50 which is a lot for a kid. He even braided colored string on the skeleton key to make it look more antique. I was absolutely ecstatic, it was the best present since my my size barbie lol, I had that thing for years, until it was eventually stolen. But I'm glad for this post, it reminded me of one of the most unique and thoughtful gifts I've ever been given. Love you, dad. I had a friend who had a crush on this guy. She dragged me to the mall the summer, before I would turn 16 a few months later. We met her crush who had brought a friend of his. In order to give my friend alone time with her boy, I dragged his friend into a store of a particular item that I had been collecting since I was little. Really my grandfather started the collection for me of this particular thing. I never thought much of my showing him around the store other than as a way to kill time with this random dude I'd met earlier that day so my friend could hang out with her crush. A few months later, she throws me a huge surprise 16th birthday party at my house, but later drives me to the random friend's house. His entire family, whom I'd never met prior, had gotten me a present. I opened it and started bawling. He'd had his family all chip in to get me one of the items I collected. To this day decades later, I still remember the look on his face as I said, I can't believe you remembered. That gift truly meant more to me than any other gift I've ever been given. A bag of bagels. I was at university, UK, and I had been wished happy birthday by my family and a small number of friends, read housemates, but hadn't gotten many gifts, considering I didn't have many good friends at uni and my family live almost 6 hours up north from me, I wasn't really expecting anything in the form of gifts. I decided on a whim that I would join up with a society I'm part of for a couple drinks at the local spoons, but didn't tell anyone and just met him there. When I got there one guy saw me and called me over and gave me the bagels and said that they were really glad I came along cause they weren't sure if I was gonna. Before he gave me these I had had like 5 conversations with this guy and barely knew him, but he went out of his way to learn my birthday and grab me a bag of bagels knowing it's one of my favorite foods. Long story short we've now been dating for just under a year. TL, doctor, guy I barely knew, got me bagels for birthday, been dating ever since. About 10 years ago I was living alone for the first time in a new city. I'm kind of a shy guy, and I had made a single friend in college during this transition in my life. When my birthday came I asked him to have a few beers with me at a bar we often went, but at that particular day his mom was visiting him, I said well, the more the merrier, ask her to come too. I kinda expected a no, sorry, we can't, but to my surprise she was up to it. 
I didn't tell them it was my anniversary, didn't really feel that important. I really just wanted to hang out. Anyway, we spent the evening at the bar drinking beer and talking about our lives and her youth, generational differences and so on. At one point in the evening star since, cause she was into it, came up in conversation and she asked mine. I said Pisces, and she said that my birthday should coming around. I paused a little and said well, as a matter of fact, it's today. We all laughed a little at this useless tidbit of information when suddenly a street vendor passed by selling with a handicraft. We were sitting on the street tables, she called the man, and bought me a small basket. Now, it was quite a simple gift, but it was so unexpected, we were all kinda drunk, and telling stories in a bar, when suddenly I was the proud owner of a wicker basket. I didn't really knew what to do with it the following years, but nowadays I use it to stash my weed. Every time I roll a joint at home I remember that day and laugh a little. Well, that's it. Sorry for the rant and any English mistakes. Equals.